Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're doing count the number of consistent strings. For this question, we're given a string allowed consisting of distinct characters and an array of string words. And a string is consistent if all characters in the string appear in the string allowed. So we have to check if each of these items in words consists of characters that exist in allowed over here. And we have to return the number of consistent strings in the array words. So for example, in this case, AD, this first item contains D and D is not in the allowed string. So this is not allowed. BD, in this case, contains D. So D is not in allowed. So this is not allowed either. A, 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 B consists of A and B, so this is allowed. In this case, B, A, A. B, A, A contains all characters in allowed, so that's fine too. And B, A, D, A, B, in this case, this contains D, so this is not allowed. So in this case, only these two items are allowed. So for the second example, we get A, B, C. A is allowed, B is allowed, C is allowed because it contains its, its characters exist in allowed. A, B is allowed, A, C is allowed, B, C is allowed, and A, B, C is allowed. All strings are consistent because they contain characters that are existing in allowed over here. For this final example, our allowed consists of C, A, D. C, C is allowed. A, C, D is allowed, B is allowed, wait no, B is not allowed because B is not in allowed, okay. So the third item is not allowed, we have two allowed thus far. B, A is not allowed because B is not in there. B is not allowed, B, A, C is not allowed. B, A, D is also not allowed because it contains B and B is not in allowed. A, C is allowed, so we have one, two, three. And finally, D is allowed as well. So giving us CC, ACD, AC, and D as consistent strings, giving us four. So for this question, the number of words range from one to 10 to the power of four, pretty lenient. Allowed length consists of one to 26, which makes sense because there are 26 alphabetical characters. And every single item or word in words range from length 1 to length 10. So this is pretty lenient as well. And the characters in allowed are distinct. And words I and allowed contains only lowercase English characters. So each word in words consists of lowercase characters. Same for allowed. So we do not have to worry about uppercase characters in this case. So to solve this question, that's one way to go about this. The first thing is to the first thing is we want to put all characters in allowed into a data structure called a set. And a set is a is a type of hashing data structure which is optimized for string searches or item searches in this case. So we can proceed to put all characters in allowed into a set and we can then proceed to iterate through all words in words and for each word we check if each character exists in the set of allowed characters and if and if it contains only characters that are in allowed then we will increment another variable that counts the number of consistent strings so that's pretty much it so for example Let's say you have a consistent strings integer and let's put this allowed stuff inside here. So for, so let's call this allowed set. In this case, this would be a set of strings and this will be set. And for character in allowed, do allowed set dot add character. And once we're done, we will just iterate forward in words. We will just check if for character in word allowed. 
equals to true for character in word if character in allowed set if character not in allowed set then we will set allowed to false and break the first inner loop over here and return sorry if allowed then we will do cost is consistent strings plus equals to one and we will just pretty much return the consistent strings so in this case notice that we are just populating the allowed set with all characters in allowed so that when we do that check for every character in word inside this list the search should be o1 instead of having to go through all letters in this string over here so this step over here is to make it easier for us for to be specific it makes the search on line 13 more efficient so to be specific this will make this O1. So regardless of how large your allowed is, this will always be O1 because we're using a very efficient data structure set for checking if a string exists in this set. So that's pretty much it. So if you have allowed, if you have this test case over here, in this case, the set would contain the set in this case, like over here, after line on line 12 or line 13, a lot set would just be a set that consists of C, A, and D. So this would just be a set like this. And for words in this case, let's say we are looking at the first word CC. We will first set a lot equals to true and we will check every single character in word so for, let's say the first character is c we will check if c is in a loud set so if c if c is in a loud set in this case in this case this would be false this expression will be false because c is in a loud set then we will skip this and we will continue to do this for the subsequent characters so let's say the second character c this statement on line 18 will still evaluate to false so this would not be executed and this fully completes for the word cc so in this case since allowed is still true then we will increment consistent strings by one so this would be set to one and you will continue to do this for all words in allowed and this should give us the answer so that's pretty much it. Fortunately, in this case, the algorithm is still pretty simple. So I could actually code it out in comments. Yes, but that pretty much, but that's pretty much the algorithm that we'll be using for this challenge. So now let's code this out. Actually, the implementation is already there. So, okay, let's just do a lot set equals to set of string equals to an empty set. And for character in allowed, we will add this character into the set by doing calling add function on set. And now we have this set over here for quick checking if a character exists in allowed. And for word in words, we will first define an allowed boolean to keep track of whether if this word is allowed. Let's call this word allowed for easier readability. And then we then proceed to check all characters in word if character is not in allowed set then we are sure that this current word is not allowed so we will just do word allowed equals to false and we will break the first inner loop so that we'll continue on line 37 without any additional computations so if it, this is still word allowed then we will increment consistent strings forgot to define that on line 26 we just increment this by one and after this for loop on line 31 this should this should terminate correctly so just to be sure that this implementation is correct i would just trace this out as usual this is equals to zero for now allowed set is equals to equals to an empty set i'll define it like this for character in allowed, let's quickly use this test case. Let's remove all of this first for now. And let's say we are looking at allowed. So for character in allowed, character is equals to character is equals to C. We'll put it in A and 
D. So A and D. And we are done with the tracing on line 9 to line 10. So now we'll continue on line 12. Word is equals to CC. So word allowed equals to true for character in word. So the current word, the current character is equals to C. Is C in is C not in allowed set? Well, in this case, this is false. So this will not be executed. And since word is allowed, this is true, we will increment consistent strings by one. Then we proceed to we will proceed to line sorry to the second word over here a c d we will first set word to be true then character is equals to a is a allowed yes it's allowed so this will evaluate to false okay let's try c is c allowed is c in allowed set okay this will still evaluate to false d in this case, D still exists in a loud set, so this would still evaluate to false. So this is not executed. What is still allowed? We will increment consistent strings by another one, giving us two. Now we will move on to the third word. In this case, this is B. Does B does B exist in a loud set? In this case, is truly character B. Character B is indeed not in a loud set, so this will e evaluate to true word allowed will be set to false and we will break and since word is not allowed consistent string will not be incremented and we will continue with the next word ba similarly in this case this would be set to false because b is not is indeed not allowed set so this is evaluated to true word allowed set to false we will break this and we will continue on the next iteration let's move on to bac same thing here bad same thing here ac now in this case a indeed exists in allowed set so this will be evaluated to false same for c exists in allowed set so this will evaluate to false we reach line 18 what is still thank goodness we trace because of that we notice the missing colon what allowed is indeed true consistent string will increment by one giving us three so we will finally go to the final word in words does d exist in allowed set yes it does so this will still remain as false word allowed is false sorry word allowed this will not be evaluated sorry and consistent strings will be incremented by one giving us four is the answer four yes it's indeed four so looks like everything is good from tracing let's run this against some test cases so, okay, this passes the sample test cases. And there we go. So for this approach, the time complexity, if we say, if we let allow to be, the, if we let the size of, or the length of allow to be M, and the length of words to be n in this case notice that if the allowed string is very long then the size of your set will scale with respect to the length of allowed so this is o m it will take up to m characters to add all items into allowed set then afterwards we have an iteration across all words so in this case it's o n for each of these iterations, we will then proceed to check if each character is in the word. So let's say, let's say length of each word to be S. In this case, this inner loop over here will be OS. This check for whether if the character is in the allowed set, thank goodness we use a set. Since we use a set, this will be O1 set is very efficient because what it does is it hashes that character into an into a hash under the hood and it uses that hashed as an index inside the set but i guess that's for another video for how sets are implemented but anyway all you have to know is that this check on line 27 is really o1 because we check if an item is in a set instead of using a list 
using a list will require us to have a linear scan across the list. So thank goodness we are not using a list or a string. So this is O1. This is O1 as well. So in the summary over here, the time complexity in this case would be OM plus ONS because each iteration of the words in line 21 would have a time complexity of OS. So OM plus ONS. So for the space complexity in this case, we are not using, we are defining a constant number of variables here. So from line 22 to line 32, in this case, by using constant memory. So this is O1. But on line 18 to line 19, because we're keeping all characters in allowed inside a set, in this case, the space would be OM. So the more characters you have in allowed, the more space this algorithm will use to keep track of it in a set. So that's pretty much it for the time and space complexity of this algorithm. If you find this useful, please give us a like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video.